Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSR and MassiveSynth.com. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel and you like checking these videos out, you can sign up at YouTube.com forward slash ADSR Toots. So this video, we're not only going to remake that pluck, but I'm going to show you a cool tip and trick on how to make Massive more uh, responsive by using some velocity, some velocity sensitive envelopes. So I have a new sound pulled up here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this drive to waveform in my first oscillator. I'm going to keep the pitch where it is. I'm going to turn the wavetail position down just a touch. Keep the intensity and the amp up all the way. And now I'm going to turn on that oscillator 2 by clicking on that little dot. And I'm going to select the square saw 1 waveform. Keep it on spectrum. Turn your intensity down to just a little bit above halfway. And then turn your amp to 50%. And that's really the only uh, oscillators we'll be using, save for the noise oscillator, which I'm just going to bump a little bit of white noise. All right, so now let's select the low pass 4 filter in our filter 1, and let's turn the cutoff up to about just, just like a shade under half. Turn the resonance down. All right, and now let's go to uh, let's go to the envelopes, which are going to be the most important part of this sound. So in envelope one, I'm going to use this to modulate the pitch of our oscillators to give it the sound a little bit of snap. Turn your attack down, keep your level up, your decay down, and this level down. And now let's bump the decay a little. And what we're going to do is. Grab that crosshair and modulate up to positive 64 on both oscillator 1 and 2. All right, now go to envelope 2, which we'll be using to modulate just a little bit of the pit of the uh, filter in uh, the cutoff 1 in filter 1. And now I am going to select for this, I'm going to select uh, linear, which is going to change this to more of a downward sloping, consistent straight line and take this attack down all the way, keep the level up, the decay, keep it about halfway, turn this level down, and then make sure your release is near the word one shot. And I'm gonna grab this and modulate just a little bit of the pitch, of the cutoff of my filter, and you're gonna go towards the right, so it's like going out that way. All right, now I'm gonna go to my fourth envelope, we're not going to use the, the third one in this sound. And now I'm going to turn the attack down. Turn the level down, actually, just a little. Turn the decay into about 25%, and the level down to maybe about 15 or 20%. And make sure you have your release so where this line is kind of right before gate. So you just got to turn it down or up just a little. So that will really kill a good amount of the sound. I'm going to turn this release up just a little, and that decay. So now there is the general sound without effects and things like that. So I'm going to turn on some reverb. And I'm also going to turn on some delay, some sync delay. And you can make the reverb to taste or whatever you want. You don't even have to put reverb on it. I'm going to turn this dry wet down on the sync delay, turn the damp up a little and the feedback up a little, and now my ratio is going to be 316 and 216. I'm going to turn on this EQ, and in this I'm going to take the low shelf down just a pinch, boost the boost, and take the high shelf up a little. Alright, and so now that we got pretty much all the parameters set up, including the uh, envelope shapes. I'm going to go to my voicing tab and turn the voicing up to 5. And now with that on, I'm going to go back to my, to my first envelope and turn the decay down a little. I'm going to turn on the pan position as well to widen the sound up. And then turn on your pitch cutoff and then boost it just a, just a smidge. And finally, the last thing I want to do before I get into the velocity 
uh, sensitivity. I'm going to select this parabolic shaper, so we'll say P shaper, to crank up the dry wet and turn the drive down. Alright, so that's pretty much the sound from the beginning of the demo. Now, now what we're going to do to kind of make this progression more expressive, I guess, is what you're going to do is you're going to kind of turn the you're going to turn it into a sound or a uh, preset that can actually handle different velocities. So you'll see here that I have this red velocity represents a 117 and this orange one is 101. Well, you can see how they're the same sound. The sa they're about the same volume. Everything's pretty much the same volume because massive by default is not velocity velocity sensitive. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see this little this VEL slider. In any of the envelopes that I used, I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to so I'm going to turn it up for one, two, and four. Now four is tied to your out your amp mod by default, so that's going to be one of the biggest ones. But it's also kind of fun and gets good results if you turn up any of the envelopes that you're doing modulation with. So for this, I was doing pitch modulation. So now what this is telling this envelope to do is when it's hitting this pitch section, it's going to modulate the pitch more or less depending on my velocity. So at higher velocities, I'm going to have more of that pitch mod, which is awesome for plucks because then if you want to leave these low notes in there, they'll stay quieter and they won't have as much of that snap and attack to the sounds. So they won't be fighting with your low frequency content. So now this note, there's a difference in volume, and I'll take it down. So this one to this is going to be a pretty big difference. And it's also with this, if we actually turn this cutoff down and boosted it more with envelope 2, you could then have just a couple notes really open up with the filter frequency. So that one opened up the most. So it's kind of a cool way to control some interesting parameters. You could do, you could actually control it with, uh, you actually control it, you can modulate your release with one of these, or actually two of these in two different envelopes and kind of have the release hit harder when you're hitting it harder. So there's some cool things you can do by using these velocity sensitive uh, envelopes in Massive. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Hope you like the sound. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there. Tons of great things Massive. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.